emergency door is broken. Yeah. My seat is broken. Yeah. I'm not jumping. Okay. I just walk out, innit? Okay. I can't explain. It's medical, everything. The skies over Ahmedabad turned grim recently as tragedy struck. An Air India Boeing 787 Dreamliner crashed, leaving the nation and the aviation industry in shock. Dozens of lives were lost in the horrifying incident, shaking families, rattling aviation experts, and raising one haunting question. How could a plane as modern and advanced as the Dreamliner fail so catastrophically? This wasn't just any aircraft. This was the Boeing 787, nicknamed the Dreamliner, labeled as one of the safest, most fuel-efficient, and technologically advanced commercial aircraft in the world. So, what really went wrong? Before diving into the mechanics and design of the 787, let's first understand what happened, and then unravel the layers of speculation, facts, and hard truths behind this tragic crash. The incident. It was a regular flight, a routine takeoff. Nothing out of the ordinary until the unthinkable happened. Just moments after departure, the Air India Boeing 787 faced critical trouble. The aircraft lost altitude sharply and crashed near the outskirts of Ahmedabad. Emergency teams rushed to the scene, but it was too late for many on board. Watch as he just walks into the street away from that fiery crash site, apparently talking on his phone before being rushed to a hospital. Initial reports confirm multiple fatalities. While the exact number is still being verified, the loss is devastating. Every soul on board had a story, a family, a life. As investigations are underway, many are trying to piece together the timeline, the causes, and what exactly brought the plane down. But until official results come in from the black boxes, yes, both the flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder have been recovered. We won't jump to conclusions. Instead, let's understand what could potentially go wrong in such aircraft, and whether this is a sign of failure in Boeing's most ambitious creation, or just a tragic anomaly. Is the Boeing 787 a failure in disguise? Let's get something straight. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner is not your average commercial jet. This plane was designed to revolutionize air travel, with composite materials, better fuel efficiency, lower cabin pressure for passenger comfort, and state-of-the-art avionics, the 787 was supposed to be Boeing's crown jewel. And for the most part, it delivered. But here's the twist. Even the most advanced machines are not immune to failure. Whether it's due to mechanical flaws, pilot error, weather conditions, or a tragic combination of several factors, things can still go terribly wrong. To better understand the crash, we need to explore the three leading scenarios currently circulating in aviation circles. One, loss of engine thrust. Two, landing gear not retracted. Three, premature flap retraction. Each one of these on its own is dangerous, but together, it's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> One, loss of engine thrust. Let's start with the scariest possibility, engine failure. The Boeing 787, like most modern commercial jets, runs on two engines, and it's actually built to handle the failure of one engine. This is a requirement for all twin engine aircraft. They must be able to take off, climb, and even complete a flight on just one engine. But losing both engines? That's a completely different story. Think of it like this. The engines are the heart of the plane. If both stop beating, the aircraft becomes a glider. And the success of a glider depends on one thing, altitude. One of the most famous examples of a dual engine failure is Air Transat Flight 236 in 2001. The Airbus A330 lost both engines mid-Atlantic, but managed to glide over 75 miles and land safely. Sounds like a miracle? It was, but the key here was altitude. They were already cruising high in the sky. Now compare that to the Air India 787 crash. It happened shortly after takeoff, when the aircraft was still low and slow. In such a scenario, the pilots have limited time and almost no altitude buffer to glide or recover. Another chilling reminder, US Airways Flight 1549 in 2009, also known as the Miracle on the Hudson. 
After a bird strike took out both engines of an A320 just after takeoff, pilot Chesley Sully Sullenberger ditched the plane in the Hudson River, saving every life on board. So, yes, engine failure can be survivable, but it depends on where and when it happens. In this Air India case, if both engines failed right after takeoff, the options would have been slim to none. 2. Landing gear, not retracted. Let's move to the second major possibility, landing gear failure. Normally, just seconds after liftoff, the landing gear is retracted. This isn't just for show, it's essential. Why? Because extended landing gear creates a ton of drag, and drag is the enemy of lift. Planes need to climb fast after takeoff to avoid obstacles and to reach cruising altitude safely. But if the landing gear refuses to tuck away, the aircraft faces a heavy aerodynamic penalty. Here's the thing, planes are designed to handle this. If the landing gear stays extended, the aircraft can still fly and even return to the airport for a safe landing. But pair this issue with something more severe, like engine failure, and the situation becomes lethal. With both engines struggling and extra drag pulling the plane down, the pilots would be left fighting a losing battle against gravity. 3. Flaps retracted too early. And now for the third possible trigger, flap mismanagement. Flaps are those moving parts on the wings that extend during takeoff and landing. Their job? To generate more lift at slower speeds. Think of them as the plane's wings on steroids, allowing the aircraft to fly at lower speeds without stalling. Now, during takeoff, flaps are gradually retracted as the plane picks up speed. But if they're pulled in too early before the plane has enough speed, boom, lift vanishes. And what happens when you lose lift? You fall. If the Air India Dreamliner had premature flap retraction, especially combined with landing gear drag and engine power loss, then that's a triple threat scenario. It's like trying to run a race with a sprained ankle, a 50 pound backpack, and no oxygen. You're not going to make it far. So, was the Boeing 787 Dreamliner always flawed? Here's the million dollar question that's on everyone's mind. Is the Boeing 787 Dreamliner a failed design? Honestly, it's complicated. When the 787 first launched, it was met with high expectations, but it didn't take long for problems to show up. There were battery fires that sparked serious safety concerns, software glitches, delays in production, and major quality control issues due to Boeing's decision to outsource much of the manufacturing. Things got so serious that entire fleets of 787S were grounded over problems with their lithium-ion batteries. Despite all that, the Dreamliner eventually proved its worth. It became one of the most fuel-efficient wide-body aircraft in service, saving airlines millions in fuel costs. Passengers appreciated its quieter cabin, better humidity, and lower cabin pressure, features that made long-haul flights more comfortable. More impressively, the Dreamliner introduced a new generation of aircraft design using carbon composite materials, which helped reduce weight and improve efficiency. With more than 1,000 Dreamliners in operation worldwide, it has clearly become a workhorse for many airlines. Until the recent Air India crash, its safety record had remained strong. So, is it a failure? No. But it isn't flawless either. Like any complex system, it requires ongoing attention, constant improvements, and responsible handling. Now you might be wondering, how do plane crashes still happen in 2025, especially with all the advanced technology, automation, and built-in safety systems? The answer isn't comforting, but it's the truth. Aviation is incredibly safe, yet it remains unforgiving. When something goes wrong, it usually doesn't happen in isolation. It's often a chain reaction. A small sensor malfunction might send incorrect data. That data leads to a wrong decision. Maybe one engine fails and the backup system takes a second too long to respond. The flaps might retract earlier than they should, and no one catches it in time. Suddenly, several minor issues snowball into a catastrophic failure. That's how most aviation accidents happen, not from one big mistake, but a series of small ones stacking up at the worst possible time. But here's the silver lining. Every crash, as tragic as it is, offers a chance to learn. In the case of the Air India crash, investigators will dig into cockpit audio, engine data, flight logs, maintenance history, and every action the crew took. From all that, improvements will follow. New training, updated procedures, software upgrades. This constant learning process is what keeps aviation evolving. One tragedy at a time, the skies become just a little safer. So, back to our prime question. Is the Boeing 787 a success or failure? 
Here's the final opinion. If we look at innovation, fuel efficiency, and passenger experience, the Dreamliner is a success. If we look at initial flaws, production shortcuts, and now a deadly crash, it has serious questions to answer. But labeling it a complete failure, that would be too easy and too unfair. The truth is, the 787 is a bold step forward in aviation design, but it's also a reminder that no matter how far we fly, safety must always come first. Now, the Air India 787 crash is a painful chapter. Families are grieving, questions are mounting, and the aviation world is once again facing hard truths. But the story doesn't end here. The recovery of the black boxes means answers are coming. Whether it was engine failure, flat mismanagement, or gear issues, those answers will drive change. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner may have stumbled, but it hasn't fallen. The dream of safer, faster, and more efficient flying is still alive. But it must now be grounded in better quality control, real-world feedback, and hard-earned lessons. So let this tragedy not just be a moment of mourning, but a wake-up call to always do better. Because in aviation, there's no room for good enough only safe enough. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more real aviation stories and crash breakdowns. What do you think? Is the 787 Dreamliner still trustworthy, or is it time for stricter regulations? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.